Hey, what is up my Leafs and welcome back to another Lua tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you how to use the wait function with the print function we learned in the previous tutorial. So first thing you're going to want to do is open up Roblox Studio. Then you're going to want to go to Game Templates, Basic, and Base Plane, like same thing we did last time. Should be used to this by now because this is the workplace environment where we we will be building our scripts and making our games. So now we're going to first go into workspace. As we can see, the terrain, camera, and base plate, still the same things are in there from the previous tutorial. We're going to right click, we're going to go to insert object, and we're going to go to script, which will create a print hello world script. Now I'm just going to add parentheses to better describe what print is. Print is a function, hello world. We talked about this in the previous tutorial how it has a string argument and executes it to the council window so now we're going to explain exactly what the wait function is what arguments does it take and how will it help us inside of our Roblox game so right now it says print hello world so just to show you guys this will print hello world to the output we're going to go to the play area. We're going to go to run. It's going to say hello world. Okay. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to go back into our script. Now we're going to add a new function saying wait. Now, what does wait do? Wait pretty much does exactly what the function says it waits. So when you print hello world, it will say hello world to the output and then wait the number of seconds you give it so the argument that wait has is a number value so what number value do you put inside of wait you put the number of seconds you wish to wait after the hello world function to continue with the script so if I say wait one that means I'm going to wait one second and then I'm going to continue on to the script now the best way to show you is to add another print below it to prove to you that it's actually waiting so we're gonna say end of script so it's going to say hello world wait one second and then say end of script so we're gonna go we're going to hit the arrow go to run it's gonna say hello world and then it's gonna wait a second and then go to end of script and that's exactly how it works now if I switch it to five seconds is it okay with that let's find out we go to arrow we're gonna run it again it's gonna hello world wait five seconds and then it's gonna say end of script just like it just did <clears throat> so we're gonna go to stop and we're gonna go back into our script to explain a little more how what we can do with our wait function so not all, what, what we consider an integer value and a double value in C++ that's sort of how it's interpreted here you can put a whole number here but you can also add a decimal number so if I wanted to wait 0.5 seconds we can go to the arrow play like we keep doing go to run and it will wait 0.5 seconds it won't wait one second it will wait half a second and that's another argument that it can accept and we can put any decimals we can put 1.5 seconds we can put 5.5 seconds and we can even put you know 20.5 seconds it doesn't matter whatever number you put in there that's how long it's gonna wait now what happens if I don't actually put an argument in there so I'm gonna say no don't save it and <clears throat> what happens if I don't put an argument in there let's take it out and see exactly what happens 
we're going to go to play the arrow and hit run and it says hello world and the script so it executed both of them it worked there was no errors so what's what's up with the wait function well basically when you say print hello world and you don't put an argument in for wait it's going to wait as long as it takes to print the hello world to the council so once it prints hello world to the council it will print end of script and that's all it does it just waits until the previous scripts are done and and then it continues on with the the next script so or the next function or whatever you're doing um, so it's going to print hello world as soon as it prints hello world it's going to print end of script okay what is this useful for if you're using or creating your own functions and it takes a little longer than usual and you don't have a wait exception it might continue the script elsewise you know what I'm saying or within a millisecond and part of your script isn't actually ready for it so when you use the wait function it's sort of there so that it can guide your other scripts so there's little to no errors or no problems you always have some sort of error in your your scripts that you'll have to catch and you'll have to fix within the script but this will prevent or at least help out when it comes to <clears throat> catching the errors or like you know um, I really hope this helped out basically if I add let's see I could I, I can add doubles we talked about that we can add whole numbers we can have no arguments in the wait function now can I use this multiple times like like the uh, the print function and the answer is always going to be yes of course you can use a function more than once the wait function a a any other function in scripting or Lua in general you can use multiple times it does not matter how many times just to prove it we're gonna go to play arrow and we're gonna hit run it's gonna hello world it's going to say end of script and then it's gonna wait another five seconds and then it's gonna say hello world again so it almost plays a little like a loop but not really not really close to it at all <laughs> um, so we're gonna hit stop and so yeah that's exactly how the wait function works I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if it helped you out leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video